some problem uh, based on Schrodinger wave equations. So we will go fully uh, conceptual based problem because in uh, Schrodinger waves course we are not discussing too much difficult problems. So we will see only simple problems. So here the wave function psi of 2s is given by psi 2s 1 by 2 root under psi 2 pi 1 by a by a naught 3 by 2 2 minus r by a naught and this is whole e e to the power minus r by 2 a naught and at r is equal to r naught so radial node is formed uh, so at this point radial node is formed this point when r becomes yes, r naught so calculate r naught in terms of a naught so here we should know these things for radial node for radial node so at r is equal to r naught this means psi square mod of psi square mod of psi square will be zero so definitely it is only possible you can actually it is uh, possible only when this is 2 minus 2 minus r by a naught is equal to zero so definitely this is equal to zero then what happens 2 ma is equal to r by a naught and we have to find in terms of a naught so we can write here so r naught is equal to 2 into a naught so this is basically our answer in terms of a <coughs> so next problem so psi equal to minus so they have given this equation is here and wave function of hydrogen atoms in ground state so in ground state what is r r is the distance of electron from the nucleus and a naught is this much n term this is means nearest uh, first electron distance of the electron from the nucleus to the orbit first orbit so for one s orbital of hydrogen what is the maximum probability of finding an electron lies at r so here for 1s orbital for 1s orbital okay so maximum maximum probability of maximum probability is here or again only possible when r is equal to a naught so this is the basic condition so maximum probability only r equal to a naught so a naught is nothing but r so uh, maximum probability is finding electron will be a naught means that is 0 0.5 to 9 angstrom nothing but 0 0.5 to 9 angstrom so another problem the Schrodinger wave equation for hydrogen atom is uh, psi radius so 1 by 16 so this is 4 1 by 16 root 4 and uh, Z by A naught, Z is the atomic number, is the uh, minimum S radius where the probability of finding electron is 1s is more, uh, 3 by 2. So this is sigma minus 1, uh, sigma square minus 8, sigma plus 12, uh, this is equal to minus, so this will be your 2r by 3a. So this is, so this is will be your minus sigma by 2a. So where a naught is equal a naught and z are the constant sigma is equal to 2 z r by a naught so what is the minimum and maximum position of the radial nodes from nucleus okay so one thing we know that that is uh, radial distribution function radial distribution function will be equal to capital r square into r square and we can write in the form of psi also psi square of 3a this is 3a third is given so 3a into r square okay so this is third orbit this is given here so now if you square it this is the size there so on squaring or oh, this is the sign so on squaring you write here 3s so on squaring so you will get a sign square and here you get r square divided by so this will be your so this will be your this 
this is okay so a not constant so so here not this one this is so psi square will be not all square this will be zero okay so this implies that psi is equal to zero so we can see here so sigma will be how much so sigma this is the two sigma sigma minus one sigma minus eight minus sigma so sigma minus one is equal to zero so here you will get here <coughs> this will be zero then we can to this value also that is sigma equal to two z r by a naught so here r will be this one r will be a take one so this becomes a naught sigma to sigma equal to two into z because here sigma getting here one so if you put here sigma value one this side so it becomes a naught by two into z okay now this is your this we are getting minimum value okay suppose next is sigma square minus eight sigma so this is a plus 12 this is equal to 0 so here sigma is value 2 value sigma minus 1 sigma minus 2 equal to 0 so here if sigma is equal to 6 sigma is equal to is then r will be your 3 into a naught by 2 okay 3 naught by a naught by 2 r equal to 6 so we can put value here so 6 is equal to 2 z r by a naught z equal to 1 so we can put here so this is your 2z so 2 into 3 so this is r is equal to uh, 6 this is with 3 so 3 a naught by z which is nothing but this one so here you take here sigma equal to 2 so if you take sigma equal to 2 then so sigma equal to so 2 is equal to 2 so z will be 1 r by a naught okay so here you can put z also if you take a hydrogen then r is equal to this will be cancelled so this will be your a naught by z so this will give you maximum position so there are two values one is minimum position one is maximum position there is your minimum position and this will be your maximum position of the radial minimum position of radial nodes radial nodes and this is also for the radial nodes Next is uh, for three orbital of hydrogen atom, the normalized wave function is given by uh, psi 3s 1 by 81 uh, 3 pi 1 by a naught 3 by 2 27 18 r a naught by 2 r plus 2 r square by a naught square e to the power r by 3 a naught. So here the three orbital has two nodes, this and this. So what is the value of x a naught? So again here we write same thing. So radial distribution function radial distribution so function will be here okay so this is nothing but the r square into r square and sine of square into so here it is given 3 so right here 3 into r square okay so now if you square it so on squaring what happen A squaring here if you square sine will be again 0 okay so for 0 then this will be whole 0 so on squaring you can write here 1 by this is r so you can write here uh, so a is there so on squaring this is r square is there this r square so r square divided by 81 whole square and this will be your 3 pi this will be your a naught whole cube again 27 minus 80 18 r by a naught plus 2 r square by a naught square and this will be your e to the power uh, 2 r by 3 a naught okay now but we know that at nodes so this function is zero so what happens we'll take here whole so whole value will be zero so this will be right you can write here 27 minus 18 r divide by a naught plus 2 r square by a naught square okay this will be equal to 0 so this implies that 2 r square minus 18 r into a naught plus 27 a naught square is equal to 
zero. So here we can solve r equal to one point nine a naught and seven a naught. So is there? So here they are asking x a naught. So x a naught is nothing but the seven naught or x is equal to seven. So answer will be seven.